Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factorio Space Age Beta. Um, for some reason I got a key, so I'll also use it. Um, I will probably be just on Nautilus by the next couple of days. I don't think I'll be able to even get to another planet until uh, maybe the weekend. We'll see how we go. Um, I don't really watch the people play it much, so I actually don't know. Uh, anything much really. The only thing I've seen is the worm you kill it with poison. Spoilers. Um, yeah. Very thankful to Woob. And let's, uh, let's see how this goes. The only thing I hope with the new space age is uh, for the mods, we get new like planet mods and stuff. Um, that might make it uh, interesting. I think that um, that's the resources these days. Oh yeah, pretty standard, eh? Pretty standard. Rocks are still the same. Yep. Let me get like I, I thought, but maybe we can get like a bit of. Pickaxe. But I don't know. Hello there. I shall see. Hey Wiz. How you going, buddy? Hydrate, man, I'm very hydrated. I've been drinking and drinking, drinking endless water. Alright, let's get issues. some. Uh, mining going. Oh, we can't even. Get a shoe. You can still mine it manually. I don't think it really helps though at this point. I'm not getting science without researching. How does that work? What the hell? I'm so confused. How am I researching this? Research by craft 50 arm plate. Really? Oh, that's clever. That's like a uh, survival mechanic. Well, it's probably running out of, it's actually running out of um, coal already. Still working right, I think. Yeah, we're good. Right, let's get some more coal. I should probably get some more of these miners, to be honest. Till I'm gone. Oh. I'm a little lagged on the um screen. Stone today. I don't really want them trees at this point, but no harm getting a couple of trees. I 
I should probably get a couple of these burns, I guess. Ah, oh. maybe not actually. Yeah, that's interesting. So you guess get that for free, basically. This one here is um, for mining copper. And this one is actual research, is it? I don't even know. Where should get that copper patch going though? Some little sound changes I've done there. Quite chunky little uh, sound triggers. There we go, just jump straight into it, that's good. Yeah, so I feel I can get to, um, I just gonna get to a planet um, in the weekend. Um, that's what I'm hoping anyway. What's this actually need? I don't even know. I have to craft circles or something. Minecraft Labs. What does the lab do anyway? It was just this. I can't. I craft the gears. I mean, maybe. We shall see. This gap between the two patches has got it shit though. But that's fine. Oh, it's, just, it's finished straight away by doing that. Interesting. Curious. Um, but then we got like, under threat at this point. We just want to get some basic um, automation going. We'll get some power. So that water is kind of. It should be okay. I should get that coal patch going actually. No, oh, that's not like that's just the um, ship. It looks like a lake on the map, but it's not. It's just the same. Well, another Hello, shade of blue. Hey, Mike. How you going, buddy? Did you get to us? Did you get that? I saw you on the Lightning Planet. Um. Before, you, before I, you disappeared. That's pretty cool. Yeah, poor Thrumrock. And he's not here though. I mean, I'll probably be stuck on this planet for a while. Because I don't play as many hours as you guys. I probably won't be till Saturday or Sunday that I'm um, playing more hours. I can only play two hours tonight. It's 
weird when uh, Wes and Micah are in, and there's no Simrock or Veldak. What even happened to Veldak then? I was really surprised they, uh, let, they passed this over to me by the way. I was, um, it's, it's, it's curious. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, I'm not too fast. I just want to um, get a nice Navis going, I think. I'm not going to go out of the planets anytime soon. What's that? Oh, it's just the fun of it. Oh, I need to buy plates anyway. Do you reckon you'll finish uh, the mod uh, after a week, Mike? Or do you reckon it's going to take a little longer than that? Maybe two weeks. Well, not the mod. <laughs> I call it a mod, but you know what I mean. I think I got to the third one today. I've been calling it mod too. Ah, uh, funny. <laughs> it does feel like a mod though, because he's so used to like normal being normal. Yeah. Yeah, definitely third then. Those lightning bolts are gonna get you, mate. <laughs> Zap you. A bit of a spark. Power poles. Hey, Clarado. Uh, this is a beta. So definitely not the um, not the final release. No. They will do changes before then, I believe. Uh, beta. I just changed the title. Didn't miss the beta bit. We're realizing that it actually exists. Yeah, I was surprised I'm too tired. I I, uh, I reached out because I was like, I saw like a few streamers with like less, less, fa less uh, Twitch and less YouTube than me. And I was like, hmm, if they can get it, I've got a chance of um, asking. But I wouldn't have asked them if I did otherwise. I, I, I thought it would be like a partner level or like, you know, 5,000 plus YouTube level. I don't know what their secret criteria is, even after asking, they just gave me a key, so I was like, oh, that's cool. But yeah, I, didn't, I definitely did not get an invite, I did ask. I was like, hey, I'm a holo. Um, um, could, I, could I have a copy, please? <laughs> uh, that's quite nice. Some of these, uh, it's like, it's all... Little tweaky bits that are quite good with the changes. Um, it's quite good. But they went looking. Rega just pops on my stream. I was like, "Hey, wait, do you?" Yeah, yeah. I think um, they probably got enough data from the initial group of people, and they wanted more access to get more like um, error error reports potentially. Because like when you're testing stuff, you got to so expand the like the net so you get more um, data on what needs patching before full release. It's my guess, but what do I know? This is my guess. If I was releasing something, a uh, couple of tiles, yeah. Are these still the same ratio? I have no idea. Um, I assume so, but they're probably not. <laughs> How do I know? The 
Oh, it's saying that like better axis. Oh, okay. True, true. Right, let's put some labs to work. Um. There's a raid. It seems there's literally no feature left without some quality of life inserted in it. Yeah, I think they'll patch some things out though. I saw like uh, Neil House log on yesterday, and like there's a big change log. Like a bunch of stuff got removed about tungsten, so they changed their mind on some recipes. There must be some like things like that where they think the game flow is not quite there and they tweak it. This naming? Okay. I'm gonna get automation one gun. Be good to get some uh Get me some science. Hey, Valdek, double rano. I, I, uh, I saw, I saw Mike raid a chick uh, streamer earlier, and so I was like, oh. And I saw someone say double rano to some random person. I was like, ah, oh, now I know valdek has been telling me the truth all these years. <laughs> I was like, double rano is for real. I now know it's. I'm saying a real thing. But I, I had blind faith, you see. I, I was trusting the Veldak. So, there you are. That's my um, Dobro Rhino story for you. I'm sure Mike's uh, chat is like, what's all this language? What's going on here? Don't watch Czech internets? Oh. Interesting. Alright, looks like we're in our business. We can get some uh, automation going. The language of Factorio. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there's a Czech mod only and you've, you're gonna know fluent Czechoslovakian. No, no, Czech. Can't say Czechoslovakian. That's not the old, the old mixed thing, wasn't it? Like Slovakia. It's Czech. It's Czechian, that's the one. Czechian, right? Yeah. Uh, it's more science, I think. It's some of these things automating cogs. I don't know if the burners even work. Do they pull stuff these days? Wow, they can take 50. Oh my god. Yeah, give me some cogs, man. Yeah, I, li I like me. A g I like. I like. I like the check. I'm team check. I, I did a whole bunch of um, research on uh, the history of uh, Czech and the West Slavic from middle of nowhere, apparently from from like way back when, like two thousand years ago or whatever. So no one actually really knows where they came from. I was quite interested about that. I was like, uh, where's your history channel, mate? Where'd you come from? Oh, that needs actual needs actual power, doesn't it? There's no. Oh my god, I, I was thinking about SpaceX for a second there. I thought this I can power this like a burner. Wow. Okay, calm down. <laughs> calm down. I can't burn a power this. I need power. Power. Okay, let's do some power lines. Fine. Okay. If you insist. It's true, we don't know exactly where we came from. Yeah, my understanding is like some like Central uh, Asia migration pattern and you got pushed out by another group and that's pretty much all of Europe was just pushed out from Asia once upon a time um, by some next group that came along. Are we went to North? No, we were alright. Um, 
yeah, I thought that was, that was quite interesting. It was like, you know, the Huns back in the day and like, um, uh, the Visigoths and all the rest of that. Like, they either came from Scandinavia or they came from the middle of Asia. And they just pushed whoever was there out. And everyone just did the same thing. Because, like, the Celtics used to live in bloody, uh, Turkey, apparently, the Celts. And they got pushed all the way across Europe and then all the way to, like, the west end of Wales and Ireland. They even just kicked them out. So Europe's like a constant wave of people being pushed. Being squeezed. We only have a legend of two brothers, actually three brothers, but one was killed and the other two brothers, Czech and Lek, from around Croatian Balkan area went north. Czech settled in Bohemia and Lek settled somewhere in Poland. Oh, I was thought you were going to say like somewhere near Hungary, because I know Hungary is like a bit different. They kind of settled even earlier and they kind of got that, the mountain range around them that kind of keeps them a bit sheltered. That's very different there. Um, I think we can make, we can probably make labs stuff here now. I think we just need a belt though for that, um, science. I mean, how many, how many, how many things do we want? We could go, uh, oh, they're a bit slow, aren't they? Even just having them is nice though. I'm from Ukraine and we also have the Brothers legend. It's quite common for Slavs, although factually speaking, Ukraine has been a mess of nomadic migrations and such. Pretty sure the same can be said for most East Slavic people. Yeah, I think uh, migration is like pretty endless, say eh? like people who lived in like whatever country you're in now are definitely not the same people from even 500 years ago, let alone 2000 years ago. People are just constantly moving in, constantly moving out. A massive uh, mixture. I think we need more science, guys. My science is a bit sad. I'm not. I'm not pocket. I'm not pocket crafting enough. I probably should move these labs to uh, where they should be now. I don't need them to be here. But I was just trying to like you know speed up my science a little bit. Chiga is surrounded by mountains. We were ready for the baddies, but then West abandoned us during Munich Accords. They agreed without us that we give up the land to Germany, and that was basically all our defenses. Yeah, I think Chamberlain screwed uh, screwed over Czechia pretty badly. It wasn't until Poland that they said, oh, okay, we better do something about it. Creating the new people. Don't even need to go that deep in history. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I know that the Rush you know, wherever Russia went, they slowly migrated people all around the place. They pick up a whole village and then move them to like the middle of like Central Asia. And that's what the village is now. And then they're gonna might like integrate with whatever people were there. So people got like weird mixed uh, origin stories. Or well, don't know their origin story because they might be an orphan. Definitely more science though. Uh, yep. Alright, let's get the labs going here, I think. I think we're okay for labs here. I might put a... Uh, We got belts? I mean, I don't really. Oh, we can make belts actually. Tell you what, I'm gonna be sad about this. I'm gonna make a little belt machine here. Uh, oh, where's Papa's? And cogs. Belts. All 
Right, there we go. Now I was going to make a little belt thing for the copper from up here. Let me need more coal. I really like the new uh, terrain generation. I, I noticed that on the FFS and I, I was really impressed on how natural looking and feeling it uh, was. I'm really glad that they um, did that because I think it's going to really help for mod makers as well because quite often the terrain can look quite um, bland when you do like a scenario. Um, whereas I think like how it is now it's quite interesting. I got to the pro level of upgrading the local traditions. We've got to live with it now, although Western Ukraine got less affected by that. And we now have, well, what we have now. Yeah, I've seen some interesting maps actually from like 1900 versus 2000 for a lot of different countries. And basically, the, because the border changes, what people speak and stuff completely changes as well. Um. And what they identify as as well also changes, but the pop people with themselves could have also moved as well, re regardless of um what the local people identify as now. I don't know what I'm researching to be honest. I just know we need research. I was gonna move the labs, but I might just research build five more labs and get the old the old cola going right. This is what you do right. You get a little. Little power plant with the belts. I mean, I can make belts, but I'm I automated that so. But low on power poles though. What's the point of footer inserters now? Since every inserter now has the footering feature. Actually, are there footer inserters still? There is not. It's got the icon of a footer and setter, but there's no footer and setter. Isn't that funny? So they haven't updated, they actually haven't generated a new icon for this and taken away the purple guy or girl or nothing or neutral or. It's very gone. Hey Ben, how you going, buddy? How's the space? Well, yeah, I'm noticing this, the. Small improvement so far. I haven't really obviously played too much. I've been playing this for 28 minutes, so yeah, I don't really know much. I'm uh, if you might early bird phase. How's the woo? How's the bin? Oh, we can do heavy armor. I do like heavy armor. But you haven't done Factory for a while. I mean, um, I was I was actually gonna before I got this. I was gonna fire up SpaceX tonight anyway, just to do the new spaceship change <laughs> because they got new like train logic on them. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, but no, somehow I I they were nice. They were, thank you very much, Woob. That was very generous. Let me try this out. You're poking your SA save as well. True. How many hours in are you, uh, Ben? I mean, you're not you're not at Mike's level. Mike's like Mike's like a power level, there. Eh? Like Mike's just hours on. Uh, technically, I don't want this here being. Uh, but we can do a little chest at least. Keep it going. Hours on the same, on the save is, is almost 20 hours. Wow. That's awesome. That's, that's a lot. I mean, I probably won't get to 20 hours until like Saturday or Sunday at the earliest. Because I just don't play as many hours of games in general. But I, I'll definitely be doing uh, Navis probably until the weekend. Probably even until Sunday, but I do have Monday and Tuesday off work. I got so I can play pretty much Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday non stop if I wanted to. 
but I don't know whether I will. We'll see how into it I get. You never know, I might get quite into it and then just go hard out. I was intending originally just to play Monday, Tuesday, but then I found out the release date was on Tuesday in my country, not on Monday, and I was like, oh no. Hey, hey Doge. Ah, uh, yes, this is the beta. Um, it's not the full release. I'm not sure the change is going to be for the full. I'm sure they got some things in in, um, in mind. So what's your favorite feature, uh, Ben? Have you tried much of the Gamba? Um, I mean, Mike was, I was watching Mike earlier doing a uh, Gamba on various uh, inventory slots. Was, <laughs> it was quite funny. He's like getting his uh, robo ports up to rare loot. Yeah, so I think mid midday Monday in Czechia is like midnight Tuesday here. So it would have meant I wouldn't be able to play it until like Tuesday when I wake up, like, you know, 8 a.m. or whatever, because I, I wouldn't wake up at midnight, you know, start at midnight and start playing. I was only going to get like, you know, eight hours or something of playing it before I went back to work. I was like, oh no, that sucks. But yeah, I was really, um, really glad I could do this before and try it out. You haven't tried the quality levels yet? Oh, true. Right, I'm going to get some belts going. I think we have enough belts now to uh, do some science. I don't know how much science we really want, but um, even we just get two of them for now. And then going to... Uh, those lads make funny sounds? Maybe. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Let's see if we've ever got some quality legs. My favorite feature would be the drone logic and such. I got so tired of squaring my large bases so that these little things stop trapping themselves in endless loop. Oh my god, Clorado, that's so true. <laughs> but I, I had that I had that problem so many times in my SpaceX run. The bots are just like just die basically in like a lake. They get to a lake and then there's dead. I was like, oh man, really? But, you know, that's just what happens. Where's this uh, patch? It's up, up here in it, so. It's a bit sad, I know, but uh, I just feel like getting some science automated at this point. Then it'll work. Need two more inserters. But looked at stuff a bit. High quality personal gear looks like one easy to spot to target for some nice improvement. Yeah, I think um, single use items uh, definitely would be the min max case to look for. Well, that's just my... I, I, I fully agree with that, Ben. We're too high. We don't have a belt, really? Alright, maybe we made enough now to get that last bit done. Oh yeah, we might be alright. I mean, we don't need this that much, but that should juice up the um, science for a bit. And we do actually have a bunch of these. Um, I don't want to put a permanent thing down like this. I'll keep the rest in my pocket for now. That is right, isn't it? 
Yeah, 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 it's fine. I'm not sure the ratio. This, this is, uh, what's this take? It'd probably be too slow. I need two of these, actually. There we go. That's much better. Science is a girl. Very bit slow to be honest, but uh, our coal's okay. Yeah, so I'm quite keen to um, experience these new worlds, and I'm really, I'm really looking forward to um, what mod makers will do with the world. So if you can, I think the lens of looking at a mod and bring like cutting the mod down from uniqueness and slotting it into um, Vectoro SA is, is the way to go. So what you do is you you just pick part of the science tree to do. So say you just do purple science and that, that is all your mod does but it's on a planet and it's using your unique unique mod things you've already got going but all that mod stuff does is make purple science which plugs in to SA. You know what I mean? Like, I think that'd be a good way of working on mods. I don't know whether people will do that, but that's that's how. If I if I was a mod maker, that's the way I'd look at um, doing some integrations, like a cut down version of your mod, purely to replace one science pack to add to a new a new planet, right? To SA. If you're only unique gear, um, mod planet experience. I don't know what models are going to do. They'll probably just do the um, normal 2.0 stuff and not do SA because it'll probably be quite tricky initially to, with the coding changes. I mentioned like Ray Guys going to spend ages updating his mods. I saw him um, working on mods the other day. I was like, oh man, he's got a lot of mods. I didn't realize how many he looks after. He's got work, work for days. More than days, many days. Hey, where's the baddies at? Have we got any pollution yet? No, we're, we're, we're small fry, we're fine. Might mine this uh, stone. Yeah, Clarota. I think uh, for mega bases is where it's at. Um, in theory, it should reduce your UPS over time. It, you, like you'd hit like a peak demand point, and then you start reducing your factory over time in size because you get your productivity up so high. That's my thought on it anyway. But I don't know whether that's actually going to be a thing. People, I think mega bases just keep building bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. Yeah, I I think uh, uh I don't know. I'm keen for the individual items. I like the idea of Mike with the faster legs. Run fast. Run faster. Make mega bases even larger? Yeah, well maybe. I mean, there might be a new factory um, speed round where you, tr you, you. How big a base can you build without UPS dropping below 60, for instance? <laughs> it might be a bit elitist, but I mean, what speedrun isn't elitist? Because they do have to have a top of line machine to get a speedrun in the first place. You can't run a potato and then get a speedrun victory, because you won't get your 60 UPS, and so you have a massive handicap. These trees look slightly different, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Oh, uh, whoops. No, there's plenty of copper on this belt anyway. Why not copper is even used for speed rounds? I reckon they would use it for uh, running legs if they could. But otherwise, I don't know. Maybe for the rocket silo, rocket silo probably, but for less input items. 
but I don't know what sort of speed runs you're gonna do now. Like, I guess gonna speed run to the first rocket. Like, that's the new category, right? You can't speed run the whole game because the whole game's like way too long to speed run. I say that now, but I'm, I'm I still, <laughs> I still think it's not really something people should try strive to uh, be. It's just, it's just take too long. Considering how the loader will work with the item stacking. Oh yeah, good point. Man, they're going science packs there. Promethium science pack. Cryogenic, electromagnetic, agriculture, metallurgic. Oh yeah. So really is this the one, two, three, four, five planets to do? Science pack wise. Seems like I would end up with one guy got a lucky early quality item, so his time is impossible to beat. Well, that could be a thing, Ben. That could that could really be a thing. I mean, but you you are risking losing the resources, right? So you have to you have to do ten failed runs to get that one that one run that uh no one can beat. Because <laughs> you dice rolled, gamba gamba gamba. But I think uh, maybe uh, speed runners will ban uh, quality. If that's the case, because they'll be like, oh, it's so unfair. <laughs> we can't have this in our game. I'll just start migrating over to getting a furnace line, I think. I'll have to get some actual miners. It's probably the natural evolution, though. You pr I think you're thinking a few steps ahead. You're doing a. a is it the five head? Is it the five head? Is that what they say? We've got heaps of coal, wow. Uh, yeah, we're good. I feel like we should get the submachine gun. But we don't need to. Actually, I might get this uh, this patch going, actually. I get my first uh, blueprint in the mod. Uh, we might better fit it up here. Oh, we do this. We do the spacing one. This is the mod. I, this is the blueprint I like. Is this this one here? We put the power line between like that, and then the next one's like. Does that fit? Yeah, it does fit. Yeah. Um, that there is a blueprint. Do we need the those tiles? I think. Saw a ton of such thing in roguelikes where people literally rigged the RNG generation of the rooms and all that. You rigged the generation, really? Billions of hours just to get those two, three high quality items and, and random, or trying to promote the RNG somehow so that the run would get boosted by it. Oh man. Yeah, they have to ban that stuff, eh? That's gonna be on a. No, 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 you know, bono, you know, I know, the, I know the phrase. Oh, I have to do uh, craft steel to get that unlocked. Interesting. So that's an interesting speed run. Now you have to actually craft 50 steel to unlock steel axe. You can't just research it. That's pretty cool. Um, I still don't do lamps. I think we do need radar though. I do like the idea of triggered researchers. It's very survival-based mechanic. Um, I, I see that in quite a few games. Um, and it's a really good mechanic. Hey, speedrunners did that a couple of times. Oh, okay. Also annoying, lol. 
Why is it annoying, Ben? Makes you have to have to work. You have to work. <laughs> uh, um, I don't even know what they call this. Goodbye, my minor. I don't even know. What's that purple thing? Par parametrize, reconfigure the blueprint. Nothing to parametrize. Okay. Upgrade arms, into the blueprint. Adapt to grid. I think that's how I want it. Yeah. So it doesn't snap very well that way there. The... I think I need a bigger, slightly bigger drag on it. Because it's not going to be quite right. I think I'm going to just do one side. Right for the first one, but then the second one's wrong. Oh, but then I don't... Yeah, okay. I understand now. I understand. Uh, did I just delete? Oh, no, here it is. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Just chop some trees. It's fine. Now, I saw one of the, um, I saw Zistel doing, uh, Death World, I think. And I was like, oh, or Diznoff? Diznoff, maybe. I was like, man, I'm, I was pondering starting off, like, doing that. Um, I just don't know if I have enough time, I thought, to, on my first run to do that sort of difficulty. I was like, hmm. I'll just be a normal, normal person. Doing a normal run. But I pondered doing Death World. That might be interesting. I have to go harvest the thing before I can research the processing of the thing. Yeah, wow. Ay, it's just the way it is, Ben. It's just the way it is. This worked out quite well, even though it's quite basic. Getting me going early game. Um, I mean, get it. Gotta get steel going. Finish this belt for coal. I don't have any power plants we need, but I think we're okay. Just can't start pre building stuff before I go get it. Which I do. Ugh. I'm gonna get my first radar. Shotgun, shotgun shells. I want some steel. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I need logistics. That's power anyway. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. That calls me fine for a while. We will need to probably build. We're gonna put the furnaces, furnace arrays. We're gonna put a forest around here. We have to be out here or up here. I don't know, cause this forest is too much to chop down. I, mean, I could chop that in this forest here. So it's not too bad. So we need to get a. Uh, I need a steel furnace array gun. I don't know whether they changed the, the smelting ratios. Is it 12, 24, whatever? Was that kind of different? I think I've got um, the research queue as well, but I don't, as far as I know. Maybe I do have it, but I don't remember that I got it. Hard to know. You can re reorder the research queue? Oh, really? 
Mmm, little twigs, eh? Like, you just don't... Yeah, that's, that's cool. So far I've seen zero bugs, but I'm not the most observant. But I know those factory devs are like, like, god tier in programming compared to most devs, so... Them having bugs is like, I mean, they're so obtuse, the bugs they would have, that most people wouldn't even notice they are bugs. I'm sure there are a few serious ones, probably, if you're on the game that hasn't been playtested enough. There are more balance issues rather than bug issues. I do want some turrets. I want five turrets. I don't know where the baddies are these days, but I'm sure they will come to say hello when they want to wake me up and call me Yo-Yo. There was a entire post where the dev was raging about the research queue parameter when you are starting a game but that they removed it and now everyone has the queue with all the features. Poor dev. Poor dev. Oh, it is there. Okay. I wasn't, wasn't even paying attention. I can't do green sites anyway. I'll get the bullet damages, but then I'm going to go and... Um, I wouldn't have said... Ra have said raging law. Well, it depends on how much emotion you put into what you say, right? Like, someone's raging could be someone else being, like, a little uh, uh, upset. Like, I would, I'd probably say that they were um, dissatisfied. Um, I, I don't know what raging is. I think it's, like, quite very angry. But maybe they were very angry, I don't know. Even emotions are complicated. Difficult to understand. Alright, we're good in the coal, I think. I think we can probably start getting a furnace array up. I do need a bunch of, um... Melters. Now, apparently you need less copper now because of the RCU change. But I imagine you still need maybe copper for other things. Now we need circuits. Alright, there's probably enough space to build a smelter around here. I know we've got belts made. Where should get a iron smelter array in here somewhere? I don't know. How organized am I going to be? I've only got 30 belts. I mean, that's not going to make me a smelter array, is it? This thing's a bit sad. I guess because we only got one. We'll give it a second one of these. Um, might have over exaggerated, but the blog post seemed filled with annoyance of having to store two versions of the same feature in the code. So I interpret that a bit too strong, perhaps. No, no, it's, I mean. We all interpret things differently, right? Like, I will see the color blue and someone else will see uh, a, a slightly different shade of blue. Well, they might be colorblind and see another color altogether, which is like gray or something else. So yeah, we all experience reality different. I do need uh, more uh, I need steel. I think I might make the steeler here. Like that. And just bam it in there. Uh, here you go, buddy. Make me some steel. Give me a chest. Oh, I might watch a chest. The song along those lines, annoyance. Sounds about right. Woohoo! What's that work, Veldak? Veldak? Veldak the Wise. Well, Simrock's got nowhere to hide out anymore. That's what the promise. I want to do some work today but before I go on holiday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> work? God. Yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to office at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. Real early. But that means I can leave 
I can get home by like 3 p.m. So I'm be playing Factorio from 3 p.m. tomorrow until you know, like midnight Tuesday. And I went to check the state and work on it and I see it done at when I was drunk. <laughs> wow, Valdak, you gotta you gotta reward yourself. Good guy, drunk past Valdak, get your got your back. Yeah, past Valdak did did the wise thing. Past Valdak was a wise guy. That's really good. Wise guy Valdak. Uh, okay, let's do a little bonus row. So we need like one of these. Insert it. I gotta reorganize my belt thing anyway. Um, oh no, it's the other way around that. I think these are the same. I don't think these things change. And then the same as on the other way. Even this four initially is very fine. I got the spitter. Not that I got many of them, but I do have them. I'm proud of you, Veldak. I'm proud of you. Not that it means anything, but I'm I'm pretty. Yeah. All right, I miss my splitters, my splitters. No, we we even do lamps. I was reading the Crestro to uh, blog post, and they're gonna have lamps inside the um, better substations. It's like, oh, that, that's good. Good mod integration. Hang on, we're supposed to do coal there, aren't we? Yeah, I'm a bit of a noob, aren't I? Biz of a noob. I think we need another uh two tiles. That's how I normally do it, but I know you can just use an inserter to do this. Um, and that works just fine. So that there is um, a fine, a fine uh, copper belt array, if I ever say so myself. Uh, I don't like this. Do people do the long-handed inserter for the coal? I don't even know these days. The coal was, where is that anyway? It is technically going to be straight above that, isn't it? Yeah. Put that on the coal, I think. Oh, it's on the patch. Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? Patch, I guess. Uh, yeah. I just run the coal 100% with belts. I was trying to save an underground belt for this one initial. But I don't need to be that special, I don't think. Um, which way are we going to do this to start with? Oh, it's a bit of a mixed belt shit over there, isn't it? Not good. That's fine.
Alright, let's do some, uh, some iron. Now, I think south north for the iron. Uh, oh, really? It's not in there? Oh, I'll go here then. Most work is run by chat GBT. Wow. O only the best GBT. Only the best. Really? Right now. Oh, whatever. We've got too long. Learn how to instruct a well right fairly good code. Have you tried using um, Cloud Board or GPT 4.0? Apparently they're quite good. But you probably just mean the, the 4.0 or whatever, the, the reasoning one. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, like from Amazon, which was integration to VS Code. Oh. oh, it hasn't got the actual. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so the, the iron. I think I'll do... I could do the south end of this forest, actually. The power poles here can annoy me if I don't. I need more belts anyway. I've only got... 161, but... Your proper furnace array is quite expensive. I always think like... Oh, one day I'll get into programming, right? I'm like, yeah, I'll get into this. But as soon as I like look at it, my brain just goes to mush. Like, I'll just make some pretty pictures. And so I just start doing like comfy UI, AI, spaghetti, and using like pre built logic to make things for me. Is actually making stuff with actual code is like, uh. It uses brain power. <laughs> It's more about the, like the even getting the environment and stuff set up, like just all these extra steps in front of it. I'm like, if I had like if I had all that set up already, ready to go, I'd probably take away, away a lot of the friction for me to even try it. But it's just too much. Uh, we're not quite in range. Actually, don't we have a radar? We do. Who's gonna fit? I'm in the middle of my base. That's probably as good as gonna get as with that one. Yeah, so I got I can see my whole base currently. Cool. I just wanted to get this as a print, that's all. That's pretty sad. I don't know whether this long handle inserter is gonna be fast enough. Uh I can't remember. But sad. Smelty poo. Uh, yep. Just for the basic layout, I don't actually. I, I know how to do it, it's just like. Makes it easy, you know? So. We're gonna do it, it's just below the. Just below this thing. An extra tile below. Or two. I mean, it doesn't really matter where. I'll just put it here. Cool. It's not gonna line up very well with the other. Um, thing, but. Maybe Vodok can teach me to code one day. When Vodok Inc. is um, 
prosperous and Verdict's retired. He's like, oh, how about a holic? I'll teach him how to code in the new in the newest AI language. But let's plug his brain in and it's gonna use his uh his his brain thoughts to do some critical thinking for us. And it's gonna generate us some nice code. <laughs> My brain juice is awake. Brain juices. Oh, I've got oh, a bit of iron on plates there. Just enough to make a a few more inserters to get this first thing going. And I'll make a right a new Mike Lair and new Valdank. Well, no, I can't replace you guys. You guys are priceless. Not fair, Valdank. Not fair. Oh, we won off. We are one off. <sighs> Why don't I do this to myself? Whatever. Whatever. I'm, I'm a British now. I'm going to say whatever. Whatever. Come on, mate. You what, mate? You what, mate? You, you what, mate? Alright, uh, that should be good for... Smelters. Let's go get the coal hooked in. From way up there, this belt. Um, I guess it goes down through here, and then wiggles... on the south of this. This is going to be a little smelt patch too, but... Um, this will be like a stone little brick one there. We'll just bring the coal down here. Or something. We got enough belt now. We can belt it, man. We can belt it. Team, team belt. It's not team meeting, verdict. It's a team belt. This is where we uh, we all got the same teacher. He's very uh. Oh no, can't go there. That's <laughs> uh, two nineteen sixties school. Um. All right, we can go up this way. Yeah, I think that's legit. There we go, we got my first, uh... I thought there was biters for a second. That sounded like, like, little biters eating me. But it wasn't. It was just little fakers. Have we got this, uh, steel axe yet? Are we gonna get steel axe and bullet damage at the same time, are we? Maybe we will. We woo 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 woo. We we woo 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 woo. Right, that's looking pretty good. I think uh, early stage. We go. We probably need some more uh, coal miners, but maybe not. I don't really need to do too much to it at this point. We need to get green science going, which is of course automating electronic circuits. I should probably do a proper proper thing for that. Um, so I've got copper there and iron there. It's a bit rough. It's quite far away to start with these two patches. Um, so I'll probably do green circuits like this. This fit smells raising like this, and then it's going to come down. And we can do like, I mean, we could do copper wires and green circuits here, but then you got to bring this iron, which ends about here, up to this, make the circuits. I guess I can go that way, and then that one come that way, and then. We're making them in there, I guess. So I have to be far enough along that's past the brick to go on there, come up, or something like that. Uh, I think they'll be fine. That's gonna be. We do that one to one. I think we just do one to ones actually. I might do proper ratio, but I'll just do one to ones. Um. This is gonna be. How long is this gonna be? Or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that twelve? Can't count. 
that's 12 and then I'll see it just comes down but we could really matter at this point but we'll just bring it down here hey let's love how's it going yes very much I was uh I was very surprised that they uh let my holic in to have a go but here I am I did email them so it wasn't given to me yet to ask And I only asked because I saw some other streamers and I was like, oh, if they can get it, maybe I've got a chance of getting it. Because I was like looking at streamer size. Bus or spaghetti starter base? Uh, mm, hey, Captain True. Uh, a bit of a mix, I think. I think we were doing, we we're doing a, I'm sure red and green site's going good. And then we might actually do another base after that. <laughs> Account builds use. Delete select. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that twelve? Did I miss a count again? Thirteen this time. So in theory I'm trying to be um a bus. But I'm just trying to get two green sites right now, so I'm not I'm kind of I'm just spaghetti spaghetti um red and green sites and then a bus is gonna come off this area somewhere where there's no trees there's a lot of trees around here i'm noticing the trees is a lot more dense in space age which is a lot more effort to get rid of when you don't have um things to get rid of it so can we build a proper vertical bus at this point we're very limited now this one not so great we're lacking anyway. Iron. Uh. Hmm. Definitely green chips one way though. Account bills use delete select. I'm not sure what you mean, um, Doge. How, what, can you explain what you mean by that? Delete select. Do you mean like this? Hmm. Alright, I can get some iron. Yeah, I'm not sure any green chips. Maybe there might be a few of this way. Um, I think there's enough room here, definitely, just to go straight up with the iron. I'm a little bit stuffed here on the. Um, I'm trying to mi minimize chopping down trees. This is my only build area is this area here. So I'm, I think this will be moved. We'll do cogs. I mean we could we could bust these two already. If I think about it, they don't need to be like how they are. I could have bust these two. Uh, I'm thinking too basic, I think. I just want the green chips. They're probably even, they can probably even red arm these, to be honest. I can't remember when you do red arms or not for the these. I think they're fine on the iron. That's for the outputting. That, oh, they're pretty fine, that too, actually. I'm not sure I want outputting of the green chips for that, though. That's kind of sad, I think. I don't think that's very efficient. 
I just wanted some green chips so I can get um this inserted and then get some green circuits with balance. I might get some mini mall stuff going as well. This iron and copper should be ready to be it, but all three of them coming out this way, I think. Um, but normally I share copper early on, I think. Uh, is that gonna be okay? No. Oh yeah, those can always share, don't they? You're doing a more, a mini more anyway. Mm -mm -mm. Put cogs on the other side of the green chips. We could do that. We could do that. We probably have not started this. We're going to put this anyway. What's what real estate do we have? We've got very small real estate here. Uh, this is like the mall going to be here, and there's going to be signs. <laughs> it's so so small. It's so small. I need to get more science. So I could put I could put the cogs up here with the green chips, um, and they can output. Why are we one up higher, and they can output? Oh, uh, I'm trying to think how they get the cogs onto the same belt as the um, green chips. Otherwise, just do cogs along here, which I normally would do. Would we'll split this one off. And do cogs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if power ball there is a good idea, but. We're very on resources right now. We've not got much automated. At least the red science is going good. Oh, this, this is... That's awkward. Oh, the actual tile ran out. That's even worse. Um... This is a bit awkward, but can we do... Can do that. Let's keep it going. This is my, this is my, uh, my little belt factory here. A bit sad, but that's all we got. Alright, how many inserters do we need? Definitely more iron, but I've got heaps here, so we can definitely craft more. I've also got green shots, so I should pretty easy in my pocket. And craft a lot faster. Not even sure we can even um, make this much um, cogs with what we've got. We're quite quite low item wise. Fine. It's very sad, I don't know. But at least we got some sort of mini bus going. We can get some automation going. So I get uh first up obviously we want um belts. Now maybe a little little bit of room here. We'll put I know we 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 build like a little bus along here. Stuff here, like just useful stuff. So Obviously this is probably the best one right there, that one. We actually want to <laughs> 
automate automation, right? So And da, 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 da. Here we go. Now, what am I going to do that green wire thing from uh, previously? Normally, I do wires. Does wires cost stuff now? Or is it free? Make copper wire. Damn. I don't have wires yet, so if I got an old blueprint, I might better steal it. Um, this thing. Does this still work? It does. Awesome. Can I do that? It does work. Okay, good. So this is this is uh, my old logic I used to do. And I'm going to keep using that. I don't think 10 is a good number for this, but we'll go for uh, 25. I'm glad blueprints from 1.1 work still. Well, they didn't. Um, I'm not sure what I'm researching, to be honest. Maybe get to cars. I need to get. Um... Ah, oh, shouldn't have that box. Yeah, okay. Let's make a new blueprint. And put that into there. Oh, 25. I don't know if it's a good number or not, but that's what we're going to do. I might even bump it up to 40. Alright, what else do we want to automate at this point? Obviously belts. Now, the belts, though, we kind of want to make it for science. Just like this, we want for science. Now, I could do a science one right now. No problem about that. Is we have to move science to here, I guess. We're doing that. Means we're gonna need a cog, all the cogs and copper for red science down here. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe this whole thing is be science. Just want to get science going. That's all. Um, it's the way to go, you know. So it is. Now I kind of want setters for long and setters too. Is that still a thing? It is. I probably should be in the middle of fast and if I'm doing it for a bus, but if it's just doing it for this, it's fine. We can do two versions of it. We can do one for utility. Huh. Here we go, at least we've got that going. Uh, what else we got to get? Well, we could do long instead at this point. I think that would be uh, fine. I don't need, I don't need fast instead of course, we end up doing it later, won't we? Which is going to be annoying. So I've not thought ahead. I mean, we're not doing undergrounds either. Normally you do this with the undergrounds and the other thing on the side of it. Which I probably should have done. I can always rip this thing up here and rip this thing up here. Uh, obviously not getting enough iron. I can expand my my bus. That's fine. I made it pretty uh, tiny. But now we've got inserters automated up there, so that's going to make it much, much easier. Not sure how the butter's going to be, but... Not too concerned about them at this point. I think we are sufficiently small that they won't care about my existence. They'll be like, what's going on? I'll be like, oh, I'm innocent, mate. I'm not gonna hurt you. Alright, that should be much better. 
I think the coal's gonna be a bit too slow with the one setter. We'll see. Oh, we've got some but we got some stuff back here anyway. Even though it's kind of running. Oh, these are two these are both dead too now. Funny getting these uh, inserters going. Just for this this case. I just want to keep it gone. It's still it's still useful. So science is this is dead. I can probably rip all this up. Um I do have labs in my pocket. This is all gonna go. I don't really care about the rest of that right now. No, it's good to get started on science. Iron's looking much healthier. So the iron itself is not good enough, so we need um more or any more power to be honest. This power grid must be struggling by now. No, it's fine. What am I um more things? Oh, this is only on twenty-five, this should be uh, on eight hundred. Sure, that's fine. Um Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need some more wooden. Cool. 25 of them is very fine. We don't need that many long arms. Um, now we're going to do the miners. Da, 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 da. Yep. Oh. Oh, we're looking good now. Cool. I don't know if twenty fives. I think it's a bit low. Maybe for a hundred of those. I want pipes and stuff. I know we need pipes. No. Yep. 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 Okay, I gotta reorganize this shit. This is a bit old school. Yeah, I do. I'm really gonna rejig this beginning bit though. We have to push it back a bit, and I won't have enough green chips for this belt. Didn't make quite enough room. I'm glad most of these recipes are the same though, so they just. Um. Whatever. No think. No think. Iron is still. Shit, what's happened? Okay, so the coal is fine. Oh yeah, we didn't even mine us, that's right. I forgot about that. That was the most important thing. That's why I got the miners going. Get seven because we don't know miners, but that should be enough now. That's my pollution. We got baddies up there. We're fine for now. Yeah, that'll help it out. I think... Yeah. Power's gonna be a problem now, but... Iron should be coming in nicely. Might better get some green science started up, I think. I think I've done enough buff items are useful. 
Iron is definitely sad. Copper is more than enough. Um, so I could steal from this. We can just clone it to the south. I think we clone clone to the south. What we need. So uh, this stuff. It's oh, it's gonna be red arm red. Oh, it doesn't work for the south. I guess if we search right this, it's going to be fine at the end. That's going to be another one of these way at the end here somewhere. Right there or something. Now make my science when we get there. Right, and then these kind of buffer. I mean, I don't really know that much. Um, 100 and both, I guess. Now, how many sciences am I going to do? Um, I could do science labs straight around this here, like just go straight up. Um, I think it should be pushed aside though. It should be gapped, I think. And then, oh, well, one, the one off. Ah, uh, inside, outside. Doesn't matter. River sucks right now, but that's very fine. Cool. Green science, so we get going. Though, so, don't take a while to get the buffer up on the iron. Gotta take all this stuff buffered up first. It'll take a while to buff that. Now we could, as we get more miners, though, we better get get more and more. And I can handcraft some as well. Uh, we should automate the red signs as well. We could do that. The other side of this belt line. Uh, sure. It's still the same now. I don't know really know what the ratios are, if they changed or not. Um, but this is just the cogs from this and the copper. We just gonna split it up. Put on iron. These guys are working about half full. Oh, that's a pollution. I can dismantle this area soon. Doing a little bit of steel here, but I don't think anything that help. Oh, we've got no, uh, no iron. Damn it. We some spare. Rocky. We're so starved. I don't know if my boss is this crime. Secret ingredient is crime. Um. Yeah. Alright, so...
This tie's too split out. Eh? That one. Really, both ends need to be done. Interesting. So, mm, do I do two? I do need two. Alright, let's get another one. There's probably smarter ways of doing this, but my brain is not there. So that's just going to be how it is. Um, yeah, that's red and green science done. You put the labs down again. I might put them. This belt's kind of in the way, but. I'll cut them. If we go along here actually and go up, that'd make more sense. So, we'll start. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna get some iron and we're good. It's really smooth so far, um, the gameplay. Pretty good. Alright, so gonna steal some iron and we should be able to get the underground and then... Yeah, that's... It's a pretty good first uh, hour and a half actually. A bit slow I guess for an hour and a half for green chips would have made, but... I wasn't borrowing the view. Get some more labs down. Obviously not getting enough uh, cogs at the end. So I think this thing... This thing, all the cogs. And probably the inserters. Well, not the inserters, it's uh... Oh, the belt. Yeah, the belt. The belt and the miners turn all the cogs. So we probably could, could do more cog. So there is actually room for more cog. I've kind of done this a bit premature though, but in that, because we have to have the belt back in. Well, we can. Ah, oh, we're in the wrong side of the belt though, won't it? Yeah, that's awkward, isn't it? So we could put another one here, but it's gonna have to be inserted. Oof, that's, that's bad. So we can have it go like this and then loop back up like this. That's fine as well. It's not as. Nice. Not that we got many spare cogs anyway. I mean, uh, spare iron. Here we go. Should be Ogalicious for a bit. It's not really taking anymore. These ones are sitting on the belt. So it was this weird surplus iron sitting here. That seems like a lot of cogs though. Oh, it must be under. It was finally under. Okay. And yeah, we probably have to start fighting people soon. Fighters are going to get restless. Um. We do the gap like this this time, so we can walk between them. And that makes sense. Oh, that's that's enough power for a bit. Alright, 
Where is the miners? Might have to order my turrets, to be honest. We do need to get a smelting block going for um, stone bricks as well. Oh, tree. I can get rid of that now. I don't think we need that. Um, yeah, it's fine. Cogs is definitely lacking, but we did buff it at least. I think this was this belt has an extra hundred in there. The labs is actually kind of full. It's the iron. It still sucks. Getting down to about here, is this too slow? It says 0 0.31 a second, right? And I've got 24. Uh, 24 times 0 0.31. 7.44, so that's half about. Huh. Really? Okay, that's fine. So I could do, I think it's half a density. I swear there was whole belt before. Maybe it was always half a belt. Maybe I must remember. This is very jammed up. Right, let's get the, uh... This stone one gun. We have a gun through here. Research technology using logistics science pack. Hey, that guy's got a nice bulb. I want cars, man. I want toot toots. I want trigger triggers. Uh. Oh, what's that? Display panel? Iron sticks? What the hell? Really? Wow, they must have changed the use of iron sticks. That's interesting. Oh yeah, we haven't ordered those things yet. Awkward. I'll steal. I promise I'll, I'll pay them back. Just borrowing, guys. Just borrowing. Ah, uh, yep. Much more smelters. That's one set. It's a bit long set, actually. I should get that automated in my mall, but it's still not too big a deal, but will be a deal. Um,
go. Brick. Brick apocalypse. I don't know how many of these we want right now, but just enough. Let's start up. Oh, so that's going pretty good actually. Pretty good start. Um, we do, yeah, we have to beat them up soon. Not yet. I think the forest is pretty good though. Forest is actually very, very good. Power is fine. Iron's like, I mean, we could make another basilisk to get the whole a full belt. And I think we could fit one right here actually. Rubber notch, you know. I'm gonna put one right here. Um, I mean, probably have to, right? I mean, don't. How much iron is there? Two seventy four k. Unless I go for steel, and then be a more efficient space usage, you know. I think our irons is. This kind of sucks right now. We need to double this up, so. I might have to automate that though. Got the coal. Yeah, maybe as well. That's the funny thing you can do. Do that. That's interesting. No. Me and my sphenesis, buddy. Oh, it's died already. It's a new icon that um running out. I think it's gonna, I can rip this all up now. No real urgency too, but I just feel like kind of in the way. Well, not really in the way, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, it's the other way around. Well, I know the belt gets too thick, right? So that's 19. And they do 0.5. No, it's a mine speed. What's the actual output rate of this? Doesn't tell me. Doesn't tell me. There's no rate calculator. So I don't know what it actually uses. I want that steel to keep going. So I might keep these. Uh, happy. I don't really know about the extra belts here, but. They're kind of harmless. Definitely more iron. I want to do that. Billy Billy. Uh, 
heaven says. Pretty small buffer, 25, but I just don't want to steal too many uh, extra items if I don't need to. Get my science going, you know? Oh, that's another lot of iron. Not enough for steel, but we could do a steel lane uh, as well. We're printing another um, patch. Oh, 52 miners. That's heaps. That's good. Um, yeah, so it's really struggling on the um, inserters here because there's no green chips. I might increase this um, put a few more here. I guess do another one here. They'll do, and... Yep. Oh. Yep. Now, normally do south side more and north side science or or, or, or and whatever. One side, so one side of the bus is science, one side of the bus is... But I kind of caught this all on this side right now. So the inserters went the right length for this alignment. Because I'm like, normally at a bus, you actually split off to do this. So you do like, send it all down one way and build off that. But I've actually built the actual on straight on the bus. Which is what you're not supposed to do. But this is very minimal item size, so that's not a big deal. And we start doing proper. Our propers would be getting these two automated. Now, it would require this being here, over here more, and this thing being elsewhere, like over here. Just fine, because I, I do need to get, when I get the next, uh, this thing automated, it does need steel. And so maybe it ends up being on the bus to the south or something, when this one gets ripped up completely. So for now I don't need it, but I think when I move this just to here for now. That'll do, and we need to rip this thing up. Because we're gonna put uh, one there. Can we put one next oh it doesn't quite fit, does it? But Uh, hmm. You can share them. I can't remember what the best way I was doing it was. You can't do a bigger chest. You can do a belt, I guess. But sad, but. That's like really bad. It does work, though. And then we take about 800 of those, which means we've got too much shit in my pocket. Uh, you can go here, we can get rid of... Yep, that'll do. I'll keep some more stone on me, but... We don't want 800 of these though. I think 25. Beners will probably use three inserters there instead of a belt for that underground assembler. Three inserters. I 
Oh yeah, 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 that's right. I was trying to think what you normally do. It's normally um this thing, isn't it? And we got this one here. That's that. Well we might we might make I'll make it a hundred still. So we can fill it up um part way. And these are on 25, so they're fine. You can use a chest to buffer the belt in this way as well. Ah, oh, true, they can get the 800 going to there instead of there, I see. Nah, it accidentally grabbed an item, and so it was broken. That's the uh, next battle. Okay, that's that's enough for that. Um, mm, mm, mm. We're in fast and service. Do we really care about them? Not really at this point. I would normally care about them, but I'm just trying to make more science is flowing. It looks like it's starting to back up on the green science, so that's not so bad. I mean, we technically could be researching. Uh, Trains, in theory. Actually, where is the train? Is, is that from the engine? Or is that from... Why actually gives you trains? Do you get from trains from trains? Railway just gives you trains. Oh. Okay. We've got no engines though. That's so fine. We're not really like that, that fast. I am going to go train though. Um, just to get these resources. I'm not rushing to other planets. Like most of the streamers, I'm gonna make a nice big now space. Well, not big, but once we're in our science, then I'll look for going to other planets. Figure that's like a more natural way. Fitting uh, the limits. Mm. Though it is a work night, so I will be calling it soon. So, a nice first few hours though. Um, what is it? We got... 58, yeah. Managed to get two lots of iron, but it looks like it's drying up pretty quickly, these little patches. I'll get this back end going just to get rid of, just to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. to my bodalism. That's my power anyway. Almost like we have to fight. I could try to test it out with my shotgun. Uh, I do want to get some turrets actually. I don't have the iron, but the iron is looking a bit steadier now. Iron copper and iron plates. I think we can actually do a turret automation down here. That's gonna work. I'm gonna do it for the bus, but I feel like we can probably risk it. You do like this one, but then the one here. I think I have enough uh, spare resources now to do that now. I think 25 turrets will do. And because it's the end of the line. Uh, it's gonna steal off this one though. I could swap them around so they, they don't steal so much. I'll make sure the screen chip gets done. So the green chip seems to be pretty dead. Uh, the actual copper is running out now. I have to buff expand my uh, copper array. Mm 
more setters. That'll do. Pretty mine more as well. Probably that way around because it's, um, oh, it's a bit tricky. I don't know if it's enough. How many is that? 18. I think that's okay. But yeah, size is definitely stuffed until that copper goes going good again. It'll be alright now for the green jobbers. <coughs> Yay, seven turrets. So we should be able to go out and beat up the bears. Now we need some ammo production as well. We want to get, I don't know how many ammos we want, but just two for now. Oh, I need more storage. Uh, I will, I will limit them. I'm not sure how much you want, but I think like 400 each. Be fine. This is a 25 is pretty fine as well. I think we want to carry like 20 round. Now I do want to craft that car. I need an engine though, so I have to get pipes. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Peepers, we need peepers. Peepers, please. Um, pipes. Cogs. And how do we normally do this? Not about that. We need to steal, don't we? The other side of the belt coming in. In here, uh, yes, will be fine. Need a throwing the cog there to be honest, but we're, we're doing it anyway because reasons doesn't really make sense, but makes sense my brain for some reason. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, it's supposed to be uh, that one. Oh, no, 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 it's not how it's done. What am I done? Deafing in brain asleep. Can I make a bus and then not use it? Yeah. Brain is asleep. Brain is brain it not brain and it. um I've been awake too long. I think the reason I did it is for this so that it's easier than belting this off in this instance. Not that we got much steel available, but it's in my pocket. Oh, we've got too much in that one. Um, yep. Yeah. We'll get proper steel. Um, but not right now.
But yeah, is this the, is this the effort of um, belting this half cog onto the side over here? It was like, uh -huh. I could I could have done it from here, I guess, free free bus, but um, yeah, brain didn't feel like doing that. All right, I think we have enough ammo to beat up some baddies. Oh, we're gonna get attacked as well. I was wondering how many get that car built though. And drive out there. Uh, we only need eight engines, so if I don't get rid of my steel, I'm gonna keep five steel. I've got 91. Okay, I need three more engines. I need two more engines. You can't craft engines, can you? It's one of those random things you can't craft. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of fair, I mean, what a pretty amazing mechanic to make your own engine in your hand. Uh, here we go, I got me a car. Where is my car? There we go, let's go for a drive. Feels nicer actually. This car. I don't know what we've done, but it definitely feels nicer. Where's the sound? Maybe the sound makes it feel nicer. Got one worm, two nests. That's fair. Yeah, I don't know how it's smooth, but it does feel smoother. Well, that's definitely tankier. I don't know how to save it. Yeah, it's a bit silly, me. Hey. I was trying to shift my gun. They changed the command to shift weapons. How do I shift it? I thought it was tab. Oh, it's shift. No. That was a bit awkward. A bit, a bit embarrassing. Um. Where's my turrets at anyway? We're gonna eat some of them. Know what that achievement was because I was too busy trying to fight. These guys are being of a rock, man. It's done. I'll beat it up for you. How about that? Huh? All right, that was one nest, but they would have attacked me, so I was had to had to be done. Uh, my car was pretty smashed up. I didn't bring any repair packs with me, but it's because I was being a bit of a, an idiot. Can I repair it? I can. Really? Alright. Hands getting solar. Oh, crampy. This one's got two worms as oh three worms and two nests. But it's not really needed to be I have to this one's a bit bigger. Oh, coastal though, isn't it? There's a bit bigger down there. We get past this one. Go for a bit of a tiki toro. It feels more like that um that map on the mod uh, scenario. What is it called? Scenario mod. Like mod, feels like that sort of terrain in the map. It's like very uh, 
Chiseled. Hmm. There's like more decals on the ground. Interesting. Well, that's a real nest. That is a real, real nest. Oh, more cliffs out this way. Interesting. It's like Mexico going to Texas. We found Texas guys. We're gonna go back to we're gonna go back to Mexico City though. The biters are not friendly. We're in Central America. We're trekking down south. It's the rainforest. Oh boy. Nice train. No, oh, that's a dense forest there. Yeah. Maybe a little dense. Very dense actually. I've noticed the forest definitely a lot denser. Pretty much like with the resource. I probably should have uh, researched uh, solar panels so I could set up those. I, I normally like for exploring, I set up a solar panel with a radar and just leave it be. And yeah, we'll find the whole area by itself over time. And don't have to drive around like this. It's like, you just gotta find a spoke. And the spoke will research the area for you. Oh, way back might be tricky though. There's quite a lot of uh, water. I mean, we might have to go across that finish. I don't know. Let's have a look. How far away am I? Yeah, it's a bit rough, isn't it? A little bit rough. I mean, we probably have to go across there. We'll have to go all the way back up at this lake. It's through that little dirt patch there, otherwise. I do like exploring, though. There's quite a factory um, I was hoping they'd work on more, which is like kind of done with the new planet, so that's very good. There's a lot of baddies down here, jeez. What are they done? They're having a bit of a... Oh, we hit a rock. As well as away from the baddies. What's that dangerous here? What's that thing? Are we tricky getting back up north, I'm thinking. A lot more density on the um, spider pops down here. This is a dead end. Oh no. How do I change the gun, man? Really? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Went a bit too far. I'm down, baddies. And that shotgun is pretty good. Good range too. Oh man, they're coming in. They're really coming for me, aren't they? Four four of one shot though, it's pretty good. Uh oh. Surrounded in here, aren't we? Well, that was what I save. And that rock, really? Holy moly. Holy moly. Oh, I'm gonna have to lose my car. Really? That's stuff sad.
didn't really uh, see myself up in a good spot, did I? But I don't know the, I don't know the keybind to change the gun. Man, why is it so much worse than it was before? That's a curious save game. Like, why is there more baddies that got me this time? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, what? Oh, man, we're so surrounded, eh? I don't need my pocket. I mean, I don't really need much down here, but I was going back uh, 12 minutes to that. Oh, man. Oh, man. I still feel like losing my stuff right now. What's the key behind to swap weapons, man? Because it's not working for me. I know the trees make it harder for them. Your tab is going to map you. But I don't know what the keybind is anymore. Oh no. We just found more death. Wrong way guys. We're going back up. Oh, we found some uranium though. I think I'm fine. Rebuy hotkey if you survived the biters. Yeah. They must have changed it. Let's fix this up, eh? Because that, that tab is doing my head in. <laughs> we found uranium though, so why are you going to get a 1.7 mil patch of uranium? Um. Oh, we've got to do a zero. Oh, whatever. Oh, it is C. Oh my god. C is now the weapon change. Thanks, Ben Wu. I got K2, PTSD from K2. Yeah, I was a bit scared of it too. <laughs> I was like, will they add me to dive from this radiation? I think I'm going to call it here though. I have to get back to my base though. But I want it. How do I get back safely is the trick. I have to go through here I think. And not hit stuff. I don't think I can keep going south and wrap around. This lake seems like it's not happening. So... I was going to get too many baddies in the way, we were okay. Those rocks seem so strategically placed. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! We're out of here. Oh, another big uranium patch. Interesting. Maybe I should have done a hard difficulty, but I think it's uh, it's novel. It's good. All oh, good. Doesn't seem too bad. But the spawn nest size does seem more um, parametric, you know, like it goes up and scale up um, bigger. I'm not sure I can explain it right, but like more power law in this in the um, nest size.
I was trying to find some good resources on this trek, but um, we saw them way down south, but that's too far for this point. You should like do a self-contained power plant down there with its own self-contained defenses, which I don't have. So it's not really viable. At least we're researching though. It wasn't wasn't all the way. So I, I think the main thing I like about Factorio is you you can like figure out when to explore. It's typically um, based on your science automation. So I want to get what I see about science. You can have a Karen building. I'll go look for resources, and I'm I'm like yeah I want to look for resources because I don't intend to leave now straight away. I want to get a decent base going. No, I could get through there. We could like... No, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. The forest around these uh, areas is actually a lot tighter now, so you have to really watch for these paths. They're kind of uh, a bit more limited with the terrain change. And I thought the clouds was dirt paths, but they move, so they're definitely clouds. Yeah, it's quite, quite nice uh, admiring the... Uh, Hey, got some copper. Admiring the uh, terrain. Ah, oh, more stone. Where's the iron? That's what I, I just want a big iron patch. That's what I care about. I want some good steel. Need lots of copper though. No iron. Man, iron's harder to get. Man, they've made it to that you know the Vulcan or whatever planet. There's all the iron in this. This is just sad, sad iron. It's stone. Hmm. So much copper. What the hell's with all the copper? All these huge patches of copper everywhere. I found oil. Yeah, that's my first oil patch. I need a train line for that, surely. I need some iron. Yeah, buddy. I'm looking for you. My friend, my little iron, iron friend, iron boy, we got some iron, iron, it's not far away actually, just to the, is it the east or northeast, I don't quite tell, just to the slightly northeast, but not too far, there's actually no biters besides those worms in the way. Um, there probably is something in this area here. We did quite quite far south on the exploration. So bottom wise, actually, the sea's not too bad, though I don't know how far it is to get to the edge of the water everywhere because the trees make it hard to explore. Car definitely feels way more responsive though. I don't know how that can be. Maybe they add more ticks or something to the motion. Smoother, or maybe I'm just, I'm just imagining it. Maybe it was always a smooth. Oh, it's a bit of a nest. Oh, this is no good up here. We have to turn around. What is, is this one of these big lakes again we can't get around? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a terrible lake. These lakes are hard to turn. I'm trying to get around it, you know? Always driving south is annoying with the, um, 
Where your inventory is in the way. Oh, it's just a dead end. Of course. Um. Okay, not too bad. I'm going to do a raid soon, guys. Um, if any suggestions, I'm open. Open to suggestions. I was going to raid as soon as I get back home, but I was just exploring as much as I can while I'm in the middle. Is Mojo on? Okay, I'll raid Mojo then. I enjoy it, Mojo. He does real, really, like, really thought out bases. Man of culture is patience. Oh, big rock, get out of the way, man. Now, these are good. If I go back four generations on Mozu, so if I go back three generations on Scandinavians, so who cares? <laughs> One right on top of my patch. Interesting. Right on top. We have to fight them for that one, I think. Fight them. Yes, I'm noticing the iron patch is definitely in what's spaced out. So, gotta really make sure you get a good iron. I think. But we are okay. Our science is happy. Um, it's going a bit slow, to be honest. They must have slowed down the research speed or something, but um, we only got a slight backlog. Not a major one. But that was fun. That was a good drive. We got a good uh, scout out. So we got a patch here for 2.4 and a patch here for 2.8. I think this one makes more sense. We get a train line. Out to here, like maybe to the edge of this cliff here, and we just belt it over the cliff or something. Um, but we probably end up wiping out all these nests and stuff. There's oil over here as well. Now, I haven't seen the other oil, which is probably weird. There's probably oil like in here or here or here, but we can't see it. Uranium is very close. I'm so, quite surprised. That's pretty close. Heaps of copper. I think science wise we've got heaps of green science we can do for ages so I definitely want to make sure we're doing max on science and I think we are um we could build a f another lab of this I find a room to fit it in we have to move this belt and then we can definitely get more labs up here do I have an automated labs have I transport belts interesting I want to automate belts, uh, I mean labs, I mean kinda, kinda, military 2, we probably do want the piercing rounds, definitely, and we probably do want military science to be honest, we got my 25 turrets, we've got Plenty of ammo there. Alright, might want to make the... Uh, does make a buffer there. I don't know if it's too much. 25 hours in and you're at green sites. This has got to be a thousand hour playthrough. Yeah, maybe, Alyssa. Maybe. I'm not the fastest uh, cookie. Not the fast cookie. I think the base is pretty well set though. We've only got these spiders over here to worry about anytime soon. Then we've got a couple up here. I think we should automate the um, labs actually. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Well, 
I'm gonna do it. I'll do it here. I don't think you mess with starting resources. Looks like I went with default. Yes, it's very much default settings. Very default. Load handling. Oh, there's the old caboose. And oil. Um, lab. Yeah, we might. Little labber. We want 25 labs in there, that's pretty fine. Alright, that's that's gonna that's gonna be me. So Oh, actually on the outside. Cool. It'll be the O2. Alright, let's raid.